Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the ones who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted to him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, during his public ministry, Jesus reached the highest peak of his popularity when he performed the miracle of feeding the 5,000 men and women with bread and fish. They thought, wow, here is the real Savior. He will solve all our economic problems for us. Let us make him king. It was for this reason that Jesus hid from the crowd because he saw this as the lowest ebb of his ministry. It was precisely contrary to what he was presenting as an image of who the Messiah would be, not a glorious king who will solve all the problems for, his, for the people, but a suffering servant, one who spends his life totally to obedience of God's will. And so when they found him the following day, as our gospel today narrates, he says something which was shocking to them. Unless you eat of my body and drink of my blood, you will have no share in my life. Surely Jesus did not mean this literally. And surely those who heard him did not understand him literally either. They know that he was speaking metaphorically. He was saying that if you want to have a share in salvation, then you have to share in the suffering and death of the suffering servant. And then you could also share in the fullness of life that he offers. And in today's gospel, we find the saddest verse in perhaps the whole Old New Testament. The gospel says, as a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. What does Jesus mean by eternal life? We tend immediately to interpret this as the life after death, immortality. 
But this is not the primary meaning of Jesus. He says spirit life. He means fullness and true life here and now. It is perhaps better to translate it as vitality. To anyone who hears the word of God, who lives by the gospel, will experience total, full vitality. To find that what we are doing is meaningful and to be living for others and for God and finding joy in doing this. May our response then to God, to Jesus' proclamation of sharing in his body and blood be that of Simon Peter, who says, Master, who else will we follow? Where else can we go? It is you who have the words of eternal life. Let us now stand, brothers and sisters, and unite our minds and hearts in prayers of intercession. Christ brings us the words of eternal life, and we believe. With that faith, we can confidently beseech our Father in heaven to hear the prayers of this community. Let our response be, Father, keep us faithful to your Son. Father. Keep us faithful to your Son. That the leaders of the church may follow the Lord with all their heart, mind, and strength. We pray. Father, Father keep, keep us, us faithful, faithful to, to your, your son. son. That the leaders of troubled nations may work tirelessly to bring peace and justice to their countries. We pray. Father, Father keep, keep us, us faithful, faithful to, to your Son. son that we may realize that God gave us the greatest proof of His love in the abiding presence of the Blessed Sacrament, we pray. Father, Father keep, keep us, us faithful, faithful to your, your Son. That the sick and those suffering for lingering illnesses may find inner peace in the assuring words of Christ, we pray. Father, Father keep, keep us, us faithful, faithful to your, your Son that the dead may experience the everlasting peace of Christ, we pray. Father, Father keep, keep us, us faithful, faithful to, to your Son. Father, your Son has the words of life. We have nowhere to go but to Him. Our prayers are offered in His name, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may become acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every way are to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life. For you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel through the desert. Now, as your church makes her pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal life, to the eternal joy of your kingdom, through Christ our Savior. And so with the angels and saints, we too sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy. indeed holy and to be glorified O God you who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life blessed indeed is your son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread therefore father most merciful we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by, for your, by cross your cross and, and resurrection, resurrection you have set, you have us, set free. us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. 
Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters whom you have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Confident of being sons and daughters of God, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, My peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of Lamb God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the table of the Lord. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us bring. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Sikat pa 